All right, welcome everybody to the Sacramento Speaker and Entrepreneur Network uh, online meetup for December 2017. And I am Katrina Sawa, uh, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach, speaker and author, and your organizer for the meetup. If you have never been to a live meetup and you haven't been to this kind of a webinar, which I did actually last uh, two years ago, December, then uh, you're probably meeting some of us for the first time, which is great. Um, but if you come on a somewhat regular basis, then this is just a change of pace, right? Instead of meeting in person this month, I thought we'd get a lot more people if we met on Zoom instead. So um, I do have the list of everybody who RSVP'd, but I also just sent out the information to everybody and on a couple different places on Facebook to try to get as many people as possible because really, um, moving forward, the goal is to do a live event once a month as well as a webinar once a month for the meetup group. So that's my goal starting in January. So I'll need even more speakers. Okay, so I'll need, and so that means you don't have to speak in person, but you can also speak in person or virtually now. So for those of you who could never make a live meeting or can make hardly any live meetings, you can actually speak and do a webinar. So that means that people from anywhere really could potentially join our group. So I'm hoping to enlarge the group, um, but also make it more interactive. Um, if you've noticed in the past, uh, I, let me just, before I dive in, I wanna, um, I wanna do introductions first thing, cause I told you guys, if you're on time, you get to do your introductions, right? <laughs> uh, and, uh, and then I will share a little bit more about the plan for next year. But I am um, excited about switching it up a little bit because I think uh, it, it was just, it was time. So um, my, just real quick about introductions. We'll probably do, you know, like 60 second introductions or something. We have quite a bit of time here today, but I do have an agenda. So in case you don't have the agenda, you can go over to the meetup group and look at the agenda. Um, and I am gonna try to stick to those times today. So um, here, I'll share my screen with you really quick, just so you know where to go for the meeting agenda. And so the meeting tonight is here under free webinar, and I am on meetup here, and so the agenda is all right here, okay? So somebody has a dog barking, you can meet yourself. <laughs> My dog's gonna bark if your dog keeps barking. <laughs> All right, so that's our agenda, and I'll stop sharing now. Um, but a quick introduction, I'll do mine first so you guys can follow, and then make sure you put your name and your website link and whatever else you wanna tell us in the chat room on the right-hand side. Uh, so I'm Katrina Sawa, I'm known as the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach because I kick people in their butts to get a lot more done in their business so you can make a lot more money doing what you love. And I love, love, love what I do. I've been doing it for 15 years. I speak all over the country. I've spoken in Canada. Um, I speak in person. I speak virtually. And um, I travel to speak at conferences and other events. Uh, so I'm always looking for speaking gigs pretty much anywhere uh, in the country or in Canada or Mexico or Hawaii, actually, because I'm going to Mexico, too. Um, so, uh, what do I do? I, I really love to dive in and make sure people know what to do in their business, what they're selling, are clear and confident on what they're doing so that you can talk to anybody and get them either engaged in a phone call with you, a follow-up, or want to buy your book or your product or your service. Um, so it's really about setting the business up the, the right way from the start um, and going in and developing systems, the right technology, the right marketing, follow-up, lead generation and sales systems so that you can be a powerful business owner but also not kill yourself working too hard. So um, speaking is a huge part of what I teach uh, as well as becoming an author and um, doing your own live events. I hold live events in Sacramento as many of you have attended um, and um, you can find out more at jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And there's a ton of free stuff online. So, so that's me. Um, if it's okay. Um, oh, another little thing I forgot to mention about this um, meetup area, the Zoom, is if you're looking up in the top right-hand corner of your screen, there should be a little, if you hover over it, you'll see it. It either says speaker view or it'll say gallery view. 
and you want it to say speaker view because then you can see everybody kind of like the Brady Bunch except there's more than nine people nine squares right so you want it to say speaker view in the corner so that you can see everybody rather than just only the person that's talking it's that's just what I would recommend because then you can see everybody who's on the line and in larger screen if more people come. So what I was thinking is we would start at the top left hand side and go across and then down across and across like that. So that would make Laura Long first. So if you want to unmute yourself, Laura, and share what you do, that would be great. And then we'll go to Rhonda and Chuck and, Chuck and so on. Okay. Unless people drop off, then people move around. So <laughs> all right, go ahead, Laura. Hi, everybody. This is fun, huh? We could be in our pajamas. <laughs> yeah. uh, although I don't recommend that because I have a, a, I don't remember who it was. Oh, I think it was Jennifer Darling has a story about, <laughs> about somebody who was not so appropriately dressed for um, a oh. thing. So she'll have to well, we'll it. put it this way. Pajamas from, from the waist down. Huh? Okay. Right. That's what I'm using. Right, I, right. I am actually in some stretch pants. Right now. <laughs> I'm to make it look better. Anyways. So this is fun. Yeah. Fun. I'm a, I'm a life coach and an energy worker and all those kind of fun things that are kind of hard to describe until you actually get in and do it. And then you just, like, totally get it then. So I'm actually going to give you a free offer today, too, so that you get to have an experience if you feel like it. And um, usually I work with open-minded professionals who I like, kind of feel like there's something missing in their life. And we sort of bridge that gap together and figure out what that is and, and work that out together. And, um, but you know, the really exciting thing that I'm going to be doing this uh, coming next year, and we've even started doing it right now, is working with uh, single women, and I'm going to actually niche it all the way down and say single women who have uh, kind of shut off their heart a little bit and to relationships and to opening up that whole realm. And we will actually break down that heart wall through the energy work and through the coaching. So I'm kind of excited about that. And so in the freebie, if that's something that you want to work on, just mention that and we can do that too. So, or we can just work on that little something that's missing for you too. So I'm excited to be here. You're up, Rhonda. You're muted. Hold on. There we go. Go ahead. I didn't know because I was ahead of Laura the way I was looking. It must be the way that scrolls. Hello, my name is Rhonda Liebig. I'm an energy revitalized mentor and I've been looking at the people I've been working with and my biggest leap in 2017 is honing in on working with business owners that have connected, that their energy and their health have not been up to where they feel unstoppable in the day. And as entrepreneurs, I'm noticing for myself and for the people, more and more people I talk to, that this stops your afternoon. And on an average, about 10 hours, five to 10 hours we lose in productivity is what's coming out. And the results have been that higher income with the productivity, being able to be at your higher space throughout the day, and also feeling good about yourself. If you don't have the energy, it's hard to manage anything to level yourself up when your brain is hazy. So that's what I do. I do have a freebie today. I put it in a link in there. So I'm in a passion project right now. And it's going to be a space where you get to play around with me and another in the whole group in my 14 days to flat belly plan, getting to release a book. And as we're going through the pre-launch journey, you get to have this program plus a private Facebook group where you have all the goodies and magic in the Facebook live to support you through food and energy. That's what's going on. Awesome. Thank you. And Chuck, you're next. And then Whitney and Michelle Mariscal. Okay. Hello. Can you hear me? Yep. Yep. Chuck Cooper. I do speaking, typically on the topics of being better presenters, storytellers, how to get your audience to understand what it is you're trying to get across, and how to engage that audience enough that your bidding becomes their decision. What you want, you get. 
I have a few books out, three books out, and three more coming by the end of the year, and then I'm never going to write another word as long as I live. <laughs> Starting January 1st, my consulting and training and speaking engagements are going to be pretty much limited to the higher education world. It's part of on a, being on a journey from success to significance. I want to give back, and that seems to be where I may have some influence. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks, Chuck. And how about Whitney? You, I'll unmute you here. You ready, Whitney? I can't unmute you. You're permanently muted. Okay. Whitney, maybe you're not quite, oh, are you there? You're kind of frozen. Maybe you're having internet issues. Let's come back to you, Whitney. Michelle, how about you? <laughs> Hi there, I'm happy to be here. This is my first meeting, but I have followed um, the information through the year and have kept wanting to get to a meeting. So I'm really happy to be here and meet all of you. Awesome. Um, so yeah, so in my full-time job, I, I do training and development and I've done a bit of keynote speaking and right at this time, I'm starting to uh, move toward uh, starting my own business. I've always done kind of side here and there, but there's a real uptick now and an interest to do more work in the area of stress and resilience and transforming depression and PTSD. And there's, um, there's work with veterans that I'm kind of forming in the community so that's the area that I'm heading and I've got someone working on my website. So it's not up yet, but um, that's the plan for 2018. So I feel good about being able to join you all at this point stage of the game. Awesome. Very cool. And so did you say you had a website? It's, it's coming. It's okay. Quite, yep. That's not right. Quite, yep. And you have somebody on that. I do. Okay. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Well, good. Well, if you have a Facebook page, you could always go to Facebook, copy over the link and put it in the chat so that we can at least connect with you on Facebook. Um, okay. Another thing you guys want to do too is go to the meetup group, right? And um, while maybe people are doing introductions, let me just share something and then I'll come back to the introductions. Um, what I noticed recently about the meetup group is that a lot of people's profiles, no offense, but not so hot, right? So <laughs> uh, look at, there's Carolyn with no capital, no last name, and no picture. And then there's somebody called Every Day, come on. And then there's, uh, like there's John Henderson, yay, and you even have a little bio, perfect, right? To fill out, Brian Baker has his photo, but when you just make sure you have a last name, you have some of this stuff filled out, right? you um, have a description, you can have a title in here, make sure you have a links to your website and stuff, um, put a full introduction, um, don't be shy in here. This is, remember Meetup is a search engine. So it's like a search engine. There's millions of people on Meetup all over the world. So, and I get people that ask me about um, speakers. And if I don't find anybody with keywords on specific topics, I don't know how to help you or refer you to people that are looking to speak. And then watch out because there's some people, I think, Laura, you have two profiles, right? So um, you have a couple here. So just an FYI, clean up your meetup site, you guys, and get it so it's really professional, no matter what um, groups you're in, is just my recommendation. So you could be doing that while we're doing this, and you could link to your profile in meetup if you want to, if you don't have a website or in addition to the website. So Whitney, I see it looks like you're, you're roaming around and you're probably good to go. I'm gonna unmute, I can't unmute you. You're gonna have to unmute yourself. Don't say hello. Uh, there you go. I think that yeah. did it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm actually on vacation in Cabo. Oh, and, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You wandering are around the, <laughs> wandering are around the resort trying to find Wi-Fi. So, um, sorry I don't think about I would have called in from my vacation in Cabo, sweetie. So more power to you. <laughs> it's a working, it's a working vacation. Okay. Thank good. you. And thanks for, um, hosting this webinar. So I am, um, 
the owner of Shifting Into Action, and I coach uh, career transitions. Um, I have not really whittled down to a niche yet. Um, so working through like all sorts of structural things at this point, um, working on a website and the other infrastructure for the business. So um, I'm just here tonight mostly to listen and learn. Awesome. Well, thank you. And uh, again, share whatever you can. So <laughs> Jennifer Darling posts that she's um, jealous that you're in Cabo and I'll be in Cabo actually in like two weeks. So yay. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, uh, do we have Sally? Does Sally event? I can't ever pronounce her name correctly. Evangelia. I know. I think that's Tazelli. Are you around to unmute? No? Okay. Um, Jennifer Darling, are you in a good place to talk? Here she comes. I see you unmuted, Jennifer. Are you there? I don't hear you. I don't see you either. Okay, we'll come back to you. Um, how about uh, John? John Hederson, can you unmute? I hope I didn't like click a master mute button. I don't think I did. No, John, I can, I'm not muted. Who's that? There I go. All right. I'm back. Is that John? This is John. Yeah. So um, I'm trying to work out a Korea transition that would, um, if I can go back a little bit and explain, I was a Peace Corps volunteer in India, and then I went into uh, sociology and uh, did sort of macro level work at the University of Texas, El Paso, but, uh, in, um, particularly in population trends and social economic development but also doing a uh, program evaluation. And uh, eventually I left the University of Texas and went to Los Angeles County doing population estimates and um, program evaluations at the local level. And uh, some of the, was there for, I was at the University of Texas for 12 years and Los Angeles County for 10 years. Then I uh, joined a friend who was coming up to work for us a uh, company in Sacramento, uh, Walter R. McDonald and Associates, that did work on state, local, and uh, federal projects. And I was with WRMA for uh, 10 years. And then I've um, transitioned into just doing uh, population estimates and projections for uh, the County of Los Angeles. So it's at the community level, and I'm pretty busy doing that. But I would like to get back to the kind of the macro level work that I did when I was uh, an academic. So I am trying to start uh, speaking on uh, international uh, migration and trade, which are uh, topics that, that interest me. I'm sort of focusing on the um, 10 most populous countries and how they are affecting the United States in terms of migration and trade. And so I have a, a website that I started a year ago and then I haven't gotten back to it. But that I put on the chat room and you can see a picture of me there. I apologize, apologize for not having a video connection today. Yeah, no, that's great. Wow, that's, that's an interesting topic. So you're getting back into it, huh? Right, I'd like to get back into really more macro level things. The work that I'm doing right now is at the uh, community level. So I do uh, quite a bit of work for Los Angeles County, but it's looking at various census tracts, uh, population, poverty, uh, uninsured population, language groups, um, jury eligibility, voter eligibility. And it, it's a project that serves several of, of the county departments. Awesome. So are you in LA, John? I am not in LA. I have a subcontractor who is in LA. Okay. I'm in Sacramento. Okay, great. Awesome. 
Well, welcome. And thank you. And thank you for hosting this. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, let's see. So, Tazeli, I noticed that you were un you were able to unmute. And Jennifer, I hope so. sorry. Yeah, Jennifer, mm -hmm. we did see you for a minute on a different channel. Now you're in here twice, just an FYI, but it looked like it was working on the one that you were just on. So, hold, hang tight. Go ahead, Tazeli, introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. My name is Zeli Trentafilu. Oh. Can you hear me okay? Yes? Yes. Okay. So um, I am a stress resilience speaker uh, that has left behind uh, three decades uh, in the healthcare industry and originally in the laboratories. Um, I have developed a relatively effective uh, treatment against the toxic impact of stress. And my background is actually... Um, toxicology. So I'm a toxicologist and did traditional research in the laboratory. And very recently, like three months ago, I launched my own speaking business to bring science to life from an unconventional perspective of dealing with stress, which is essentially to try to make friends with stress to mitigate uh, its toxic impact. So my niche specifically is healthcare providers, and healing professionals, uh, therapists, and so on and so forth. But I am relatively new. I have only officially been doing this for three months. So I'm always looking for opportunities to speak and become more established, you know, transitioning from the corporate healthcare space and the laboratories into keynote speaking. So I'm very, very happy to be here. And uh, I look forward to uh, spending more time in this group. And thank you, Katrina, for hosting this. Awesome. You're welcome. Thanks for coming to the call. So I just want to check in. I know we have a couple people added. Uh, make sure I got everybody who's on the phone here so I can call on you. Um, do we still have Brian Baker? Yeah, I'm, I'm here, Katrina. Okay. Um, are you the 292 number at the end? The last one? I am. Okay. And then who's the 1111 at the end of your phone number? That's me, Jill. Jill, okay. Let me come to you in just a second. And then we've got um, 3535 at the end of a phone number. Anybody going to claim that one? 3535-916. Okay. Uh, a 209 area code. Yeah, that may be Gary McKenzie. Oh, Gary, got it. Okay. And then a 775 area code. It's Dr. Erin. Oh, okay, good. All right. All right, so let's do it in order of that we just talked. So Brian, then Jill, then Gary, and then Erin, okay? So go ahead and introduce yourselves. Who's first? Uh, Brian, Jill, Gary, and Erin. Okay, got it. Okay, very good. Hey, good evening, everyone. Um, Merry Christmas and, and happy holidays to everybody on the phone. Um, my name is Brian Baker, and I am a, a speaker, a coach, a trainer, uh, and after uh, Thursday morning at 9 o'clock, I'm going to be learning how to be an author, so I'm looking forward to that, uh, uh, Katrina. <laughs> but uh, at, at any rate, um, I'm transitioning from, from my corporate job uh, into my own business. I've been uh, speaking for quite a while, and uh, coaching and training for quite a while. My focus is on the area of, of soft skills uh, and emotional intelligence and helping um, business owners and, and, and leaders in, in business uh, to connect a little bit better with their emotional intelligence to make them better leaders. Um, I'm also uh, in the midst of working with uh, millennials. And uh, one of the reasons I'm doing that is because I'd like to be able to help owners of businesses uh, understand how to connect with them better since they're gonna be about 75% of the workforce uh, in about eight or nine years. So um, that, that, that's, what, that's where I currently am. Uh, the meeting last month, I told everyone that um, uh, I was segueing out of corporate America and uh, that's happening in the first quarter of 2018. So I'm extremely excited. Um, and looking forward to the new year. And um, that's about it. So thank you very much. Just glad to be here tonight. Awesome, Brian. And what's your website? I can put it in the um, thing for you. 
Oh, okay. It's uh, Respectology. That's the name of my business. Respectology um, 2017.com. Respectology 2017.com. Got it. Okay. That's yep. chat. And I'll talk to you Thursday. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Jill. Hello, my name is Jill Saffron, and I am a wannabe mindfulness entertainer. I say wannabe because I haven't started yet, per se. I'm hoping to do that sometime next year, getting a YouTube channel going and helping people learn mindfulness and humor at the same time. And I plan on doing that with my clothes on, not in pajamas. But since you've thrown out that idea, I might even try that. Who knows? <laughs> um, anyway, in the meanwhile, I actually run a meetup group called the Carmichael Quantum Mystics. And I have some mindfulness um, meetups that are completely free that people could come to. And one of them is going to be on the science of laughter. So I encourage everyone to check that out. And um, especially some of you like Laura and Rhonda who are in the energy kind of business. There are a lot of people who are interested in that, who come to our meetup. So um, I'm just here to learn as much as I can to prepare myself for a new career. Thanks. Awesome. And how do you spell your name, Saffron, Jill? S, like sugar, A, like apple. F like Frank, and then R A N like I ran to the store for the sale. And then, do you have a website? No, uh, right now I'm just I just the Carmichael Quantum Mystics on Meetup. That's where I'm at right now. Carmichael, say it again. What is it? Quantum, like quantum physics. Only it's Quantum Mystics. Mystics, M Y S T I C S. Yes, you got it. Okay. Okay, so I'm just putting that in the thing so they can find you. All right. And then I said, uh, Gary. Yes, name is Gary McKinsey. I work with entrepreneurs and business owners to develop and build their business. Specifically, I like to help people do that through public speaking. So I coach individuals on public speaking and how to use public speaking to connect with their audience and build their business. Something new I'm delving into is neuro-linguistic programming. Mm. And I see that as an area to work with individuals. One, help them overcome their, mm, let's say, fear or resistance to public speaking. And then also uh, how to connect with their audience or connect with their potential customer so they can build their business. So I'm excited about 2018 and looking forward to it. Awesome. And I'm going to put your website in the chat room. It's just his uh, name. Um, let's see. Yes. And then I it's said. It's just Gary McKenzie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll write it in here for you. All right, Aaron, your turn. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Aaron Oaksel. I'm coming from Reno, Nevada. And it's great mm. to be with you all. I am a uh, clinical psychologist by training. I have a private practice that I've had for about 15 years. And about one year ago, I launched my business coaching business and speaking. And I've become a professional speaker and an author and really um, focus on high performance and mindset strategies for business owners and entrepreneurs who just really want to take their business to the next level and make lots of money doing what they love. So that's what a little bit about me. I do workshops here in Reno called the psychology of greatness, where we talk about the high performance habits of really successful people and help people really live their mission and reach those big goals in their life and their business. So it's good to be with you all. And my um, website is the psychology of mission.com. Yeah, I found it because you just emailed me Thank back. Thank you, Katrina. Yeah. Uh, let's see. All right. And then um, I know Robert, were you still here? Robert, go ahead and introduce. We're doing introductions, 60 seconds. 
Robert, if you're available. Plank, Robert Plank, that's you. I see your iPhone. Where are you? <laughs> Let's see. Is there anybody on the phone that I have not gotten? 209, is that you, Robert? I see you. Okay, who's in the 209 area code? Oh, that's Gary. Um, is there anybody that hasn't introduced themselves? Please unmute, because I think it's Robert, but there might be one other person on the phone that I can't figure out who you are. 3535. Yeah, Robert just put in the chat that he has no audio while oh, he's driving. Got it. All right. So well, I'm, Jennifer, I, I, I didn't introduce myself and I figured yes. out my problem. Oh, good. We can hear you now. So go ahead. I know. So my <laughs> challenge is I turn all of my microphones and my apps on mute because my apps record me and retarget ads based off of what I say in my conversation and it drives me absolutely insane. So I turn my microphones off. Oh my God. Yeah, I have, I have proof. But anyway, my name is Jennifer Darling and I'm professional speaker, trainer, and consultant. I work with organizations who want to optimize their sales teams so they can increase their revenue, profits, and productivity. Um, you mentioned Canada, so I am leaving in what, I don't know, two days less than 48 hours to go to Canada where I will be speaking at the Canadian Association for Professional Speakers and teaching them how to use LinkedIn to promote their businesses. And I'm super duper excited about that because LinkedIn is really an awesome platform. And so I've put my arms around that and I get a lot of requests for doing LinkedIn training, but it's not the only thing I do, but I love to do it and I think it's a superpower. So if you're not on LinkedIn, make sure you go get on LinkedIn because there's a lot you can do. Zelly, who's on the call, posted her first article and got a whole bunch of views off of her first article. So that was pretty exciting for her. And I'm working with a couple other people to get their um, their LinkedIn profiles up and running too. Just today I was working with a, a woman who launch some really big brands like proflowers.com to help her. She's got her own business now. She moved out of the corporate world. So to help her promote herself, which has been super fun to work with somebody who's a brand strategist. That's awesome. Did you already put your uh, website in the thing or do you mean to do that? No, I didn't. And you can put it there, but I'm right now in the middle of uh, re reboosting and rebranding my website. So actually I would prefer to just share my LinkedIn profile because that's the most accurate information. Are you doing that yourself? Mm -hmm. okay. No, my website? No. no, your LinkedIn. Yes. You already did that in the chat. Okay. Oh no, but I will. Okay, great. No worries. And I put Robert, I put your, um, I, I don't know if you wanted the DFY podcast, uh, dot com in there, but that's the one I put in there because that's the one that was on top of mind with me. <laughs> so he helps you start up your own podcast and he has a whole website on it. So FYI. All right. Did I catch everybody so far on introductions? Is there anybody I didn't? Okay. So you guys can, one thing I love about doing these kinds of calls is that it, I mean, we have a great mix of people on here and you want to be like networking with each other and you can do that while I'm still talking, you know? So, um, so the next thing is I wanted to talk a little bit about speaking in general. Some of you are already speakers. Some of you are already, um, seasoned speakers, right? Some of you teach speaking and stuff. And so I just wanted to run through uh, a quick little training and, um, by no means do all of you need this, but I just wanted to get it on the recording too because the, we have 2,600 members, right? And I want to make sure people feel comfortable with getting started speaking if they're not speaking yet. So I just want to give a little encouragement to them. I'm going to blow through this uh, presentation, but um, really only like maybe 15 or 20 minutes, but make sure you're here then at seven when I start talking to about what's going on for the group for 2018 um, because I plan on going into some of that. And then I want to talk about some speakers we have lined up. I want to give some five minutes in the spotlight still for people. If you're not sure what that means, that means we draw your name out of the hat. So I'm going to 
point my pen on my pad of paper with all your names on it and <laughs> somebody gets five minutes in the spotlight we might do one or two of those and then you can also share your free gifts in the chat room but we can talk about them too if anybody has something like a, an announcement about an upcoming event a webinar or something like that um, and then I just want to kind of open it up for questions so that's kind of the loose agenda um, so hang tight here. Is there anybody that has to leave really early that has a question that has to leave before seven? Okay, then um, I might mute some of you just so I don't get distracted so I can stay on track. I'm going to meet everybody on the phone if that's okay. And then just hang tight. Otherwise, I will get distracted. <laughs> Bright, shiny object syndrome. Uh, yeah, so let's see. All right. I am going to do this. Um, mm -hmm. This might get really big on your screen. And you can make it smaller if you escape. Uh, you can maybe escape the screen and make it smaller. You can do whatever you want to make it fit in your screen. So um, I want to talk just about making more money in your business by speaking. That's the goal. Um, I do it through live events, but I also do it with speaking in person at conferences. Um, it could be speaking to corporations and getting paid. There's a lot of different ways to speak. Okay. What I primarily, what I primarily teach is to speak for free and then you sell in the back of the room or you sell in the follow up. So you speak for free as a lead generation type of a tool and then you make money in the back end. But um, we have many people in our community who teach you how to speak um, for pay. We have Jake Valentine, uh, Chuck speaks, uh, Gary probably speaks a little bit to that as well, but if you, and we have another um, guy to Patrick. Um, so a few different people will teach you how to become a paid speaker. That is not what, what I'm talking about here today, but that is a business model. This is more of a marketing strategy. So if you want to make more money, right, in your business, then I recommend you get started speaking um, because it's really the number one strategy I do. I'm all about speaking because I want to design my life around what or design the business around the kind of life I want to live. I want a lot of family time, I want a lot of inspiration with clients, and I want a lot of vacations, okay? And in the process, I'm gonna inspire and, and help a lot of people, that's my goal. So through speaking, by speaking one to many, whether it's on a webinar, a teleclass, um, a virtual presentation, or in person, or if I fly across the country, if I hold my own events, I can speak one to many instead of one on one, and I can really leverage my time so I can have a better life. So that's really why I'm speak more. Um, I started my business 15 years ago, and I was working. I looked pretty much like this. And if you're not looking at the computer, it's a picture of this woman going crazy because she has too many things going on, and. Um, you know, I've really worked hard over the last 15 years to learn how to put in systems and strategies and my team to help me work smarter and not harder so that I can get a lot more done. A lot of you say, well, oh my God, you're everywhere and you travel all the time and you do it all. Um, and there's somebody that just came on that is loud. If you could mute yourself, that'd be great. Um, we'll get right back with you. We're going <laughs> to start keep going with the discussion in just a few minutes um but i was you know not making the money i wanted to make it wasn't until about um eight years ago where i finally started making six figures on my business and before that i was still speaking but i didn't have a lot of things in place i didn't have a really good online back-end website with a um, a lot of team and systems to um, automate a lot of the leads that i was getting from the speaking gigs right so it's not just about going out and getting a speaking gig and hoping to make a sale or two it's the tremendous amount of follow-up that needs to get done in the back end because most of my money is made in the back end follow-up um, and some people like I, I met one gal one time at a, a I was just looking at her she's in my mastermind now and she's been in there for a little over a year or close to a year now and I met her at a conference four years ago okay no it was 2000 and I want to say it was 2012 I met her at a conference in uh, Dallas 
and she became a client in 2016, okay, because of the nurturing that I did to my email list and, and with phone calls and things like that. So we don't want you to look like this woman, like I used to look. We want to make it easier for you. And speaking is great, but like I said, there's a lot of other things you need to be doing. So, but I consider speaking the number one way to fast cash. You can make money today with an easy yes offer. I talk about that at my live events. If you, um, if you have something really juicy that you can offer that everybody wants and you make it super easy, meaning less expensive to try you out, um, then people a lot of times will try you out. A lot of times people make an easy yes offer at my event and they get 20 people to say yes. How would you like to have 20 people to pay you, whether it's 20 bucks or 50 bucks, and you get to, you get to have a new prospect, but a paying prospect. So, um, the key though is to make sure you're prepared and you're more confident. So being prepared means you know what you're selling, you know a bunch of different things about how you're gonna move people through the lead generation and the follow-up and the sales process because it's not enough just to get on stage. It's not enough just to be confident and know your talk in order if you wanna make money. It's great to know your talk if you get on stage, but if you, you need to really know how to make the money and sell from the stage or sell in the follow-up in order to really make this the number one way to fast cash for you and your business, okay? So the six step jumpstart yourself as a dynamic speaker system, which is what I created um, a few years ago and what I teach to my clients is just this. And so I'll read them to you for those who are on the phone. Um, I'm just trying to look at my time here. Okay, great. Um, so number one is what are you selling? What are you an expert in? You have to be super clear on what that is because if you go out and you speak and you give a great talk on whatever topic, but you haven't woven in things about your, what you're trying to sell, or if you talk about one thing and you're selling something else and it's a disconnect, right? Nobody's buying, right? So we have to know and be clear on what you're selling first before you know your talk. <laughs> Before you know what you're speaking on, you have to know what you're in business for and what you're selling and why you're making money. Then step number two is developing your talk outlines and info. That's where you just kind of know the overview first because you can get booked with an overview. You can get booked with a brief outline. Um, for the, so the things that I look for in the SAC Speaker and Entrepreneur Network to book you as a speaker is a basic talk title, a description, and three to five bullets of what somebody's gonna learn and walk away with from your talk, right? It's that talk outline that's going to get you booked. Because then step number three is where do you find speaking gigs and how do you get more speaking gigs? Then you gotta go get booked, okay? You don't go creating your presentation and then, and then go get booked. You need to go find gigs as soon as humanly possible because sometimes you get booked out six to 10 months, maybe even longer. So you don't want to wait to go out and looking for speaking gigs, okay? And then once you get booked, you're not going to get booked for next week, unfortunately. I wish that was true. Unless there's a last minute cancellation. I mean, Jennifer and I sometimes swap um, speaking gigs all the time. If she can't do something, she, she calls me. If I can't do something, I call her. So, But that's because we're both prepared and we could easily step into a slot. But if you... You know, so then the next step, step number four is creating your presentations. That's when you go creating your presentations is when you have a booked gig. <laughs> Even if you're um, a paid speaker, you're going to ideally get booked first, right? And then you're going to research the company that you're speaking for or the organization. And then you're going to put your presentation together. You don't put your presentation together for a company that hasn't even booked you yet. Why would you do all that work, right? So but we talk, I talk more about developing your signature system, your signature talk. So I have this six step jumpstart yourself as a dynamic speaker system. So my talk in order to sell this system would be the six steps to jumpstarting yourself as a dynamic speaker. That would be my talk title, right? Why would I talk about, you know, holding your own live event if I want to sell my jumpstart yourself as a speaker system? right? That doesn't, that's a disconnect. Granted that, you know, anyways, so that's a disconnect. So my, my signature talk is pretty much the same name as my program, so to speak. Okay. Make it really super clear. 
Um, and so after step number four, creating your presentations, we got step number five, which is back of the room setup and strategy. That's when you look, okay, I'm going to be speaking at this event. I've got my presentations almost ready. I also want to think about the lead generation and the marketing aspects of this live event, right? If it's live or a virtual uh, back end. So I'll talk about both of those and I'll show you examples too when we're done today. Uh, so on this webinar, I'm going to show you a couple things and screen share with you a couple different pages um, to show you back of the room setup strategy for my stuff and for the SAC Speaker Network um, based on because we're doing a webinar, right? or a video conference. But back of the room in a live event, you always want a back of the room table display if you can get one. You always wanna to try to negotiate that and ask for that. I don't care where you're speaking, even if you're in a big, huge arena or you're at a big, huge conference, you're getting paid for, whatever, let's have a back of the room so you can actually connect with people further beyond your presentation. And there's so much to know about this that I have a whole product on it my trade show networking toolkit It's because we have to talk about table setup. We have to talk about how to get leads and what free giveaways you're going to do, what kind of drawing to do, um, what kind of forms to have and flyers and signage and when to spend money, when not to spend money and all that good stuff. So there is a lot to know about that. Um, and then step number six is lead capture, follow up and sales plan. So it's enough to, ha it's not enough to have just the table display or the page to go to, but if you don't have additional email follow-up or phone call follow-up or how to drive them to this page to fill out a questionnaire kind of follow-up, then you're missing out on thousands and thousands of dollars by not following up accordingly. So hopefully this is a little eye-opener to some of you maybe on today's call or for those listening later, um, gives you a good little outline of things that you want to check on your to-do list, right? And I can help you through this if you want to, um, but I just want to give you an overview. So when I talk about what you're selling, you might want to have like a little funnel like this, and you may not be able to see it really clearly. It's an older funnel of mine, um, but your free stuff comes on top, your low price things like your books and your audio trainings or your teleclip series or webinars that you're that you charge for um, your middle of the road stuff, you know, a couple hundred bucks to a few thousand, couple thousand dollars might be in the middle. And then you might have some high end one on one or, or masterminds or live events or VIP days or whatever you're going to do. So know the options of what you're selling and figure out where you need to have some different talks, signature talks that drive people into some of these. Sometimes you're not gonna you're not necessarily gonna always have an opportunity to sell something for five thousand dollars from the stage, right? No, unless you have a longer period of time, that's not really realistic. But what is realistic is selling something between ninety-seven dollars and maybe five hundred dollars. That's pretty realistic uh, from stage, depending on how long your talk. So know what you're selling and incorporate that into uh, your talk. Then where to find speaking gigs? You know, obviously you want to look at all kinds of different places these days. Of course, do a Google search on the type of event you're looking, women's business conference or um, chiropractor associations or, um, you know, go on meetup as well and look for different meetups. A lot of meetups look for speakers, not just this one, right? Not just my the meetup, the SAC speaker meetup, but there's a lot of other meetups that have speakers. I've spoken at a lot in our area alone. Uh, you go to your local chambers, you know, I just put the Metro chamber here, which is Sacramento, but you know, there's 24 to 26 chambers in our greater Sacramento area. I mean, you could speak anywhere, right? There's rotary groups. There's all kinds of different groups to speak at. Um, go to visit your um, visitor center. So visit Sacramento. If you go to the, um, what's it called? <clears throat> well, it's, it's associated with the Sacramento Convention Center. So you go to the venues, you can go to, uh, you can go to the actual venues that book speaker, that book events a lot, and then find out when the events that are coming up, okay? And then you can go to the actual uh, Visitors Bureau, that's what it is. Vis so Visit Sacramento is the logo for the Visitors Bureau here in Sacramento. If you go there, um, you can actually see other events that are coming up. A lot of times you can see events that are coming up way far in the future so that you still have time to apply to speak at those events, okay? 
And then of course there's Facebook events. I mean, you'd be surprised. My fa my events are on Facebook. There's some other ones in there. Um, there's two out of the three that I'm showing on the screen here actually look for speakers. So, you know, look at some events coming up on Facebook even. You never know what you're gonna find. Um, this is Linda and I just wanna share her story because she is such a trooper and I want to encourage any of you, I don't care how old you are, what you've done, what you haven't done, whether you've got laid off or you're starting a whole nother career, you can do this. Um, Linda was um, already speaking when she came to me, but she was, I want to say she was 72 when she came to me, 72 years old. And so that would make her probably around 76 or seven now, honestly. Um, and she looks amazing, but she's a hypnotherapist and a bad habit breaker. And she also does uh, juice plus and teaches people how to lose weight and all this kind of stuff. But she was already had a pretty successful business, but she hadn't gotten to the six figure mark yet. She was speaking a little bit, but she was only speaking in person. She wasn't traveling and she wasn't doing video. And she even wasn't even doing her follow up calls. Okay. She was scared to get on the phone and scared to get on video. And I tell you, when I finally got her to, you know, get on the phone, she started making more money than ever. So follow up from your speaking gigs is like it's like don't even speak unless you can follow up seriously because it's just that important and when she finally started doing videos now she's got videos all over her website doing video tips but the reason she didn't do videos is because she didn't like wrinkles on her neck and i said well put a scarf around it linda and just do a dang video you know <laughs> and so i don't care what your excuse or your reason for not being on video or not doing this or not doing that if Linda can do it, anybody can do it. Okay. I think, um, I don't care when, what you are, where you are in your life or whatever you need to, um, just stop it and move forward and get, take action. So if your goal is getting your business into a smooth running money making business machine, doing what you love, you need different streams of income, but you and the right marketing plan and systems to support you. And that includes speaking, right? But it's the key is really modeling after someone and learning from someone doing similar business models and making money at it. You know, now I'm in multiple six figures every year and I hold live events, uh, pretty actually intimate live events, anywhere from 40 to 60 people. I have a mastermind group of 29 uh, entrepreneurs across the country. And um, it's, it's just like my, I am in, I love my life. What can I say? I mean, I love doing what I do. I love inspiring people and I want to help people do what you love, making a lot more money at it too. So I would love to help anybody of you that are, are interested. Um, you can go to my event page and actually look for the upcoming events. Um, I'll be sharing emails and if you come to the live events and stuff, you'll be invited to early bird pricing and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you come to the webinars as well, I don't have all the links ready yet for next year's events, but there, the list of them and the dates and everything is on my event website. If you go to livebigevents.com, livebigevents.com, you'll find all the dates there and they're just fun. I mean, they're fun. We talk about systems and marketing and making money and up leveling yourself and what you're selling and even love. I have my event in April is all about love and money. So I would love to uh, see you all there. Let me um, shut that down. Okay, so any, let me open it up for, I'll unmute everybody on the phone, just cause I don't know if you can actually mute yourself, uh, unmute yourself. And then if anybody has any quick comments or questions about that, that um, what we talked about with the speaking thing, please go ahead and do that or let me know. If not, it's okay. Anybody? <clears throat> yeah, Laura. I, I just want to make sure I got them all. I, so look at, look at Facebook uh, for events. You look at meetup for uh, group events and you look at chamber groups and then what else did you say? I'm sorry, I missed something well, else. Well, you Google, you want to Google, Google the um, types of events for sure. 
Um, and then I said your venues. So in Sacramento here, we have the convention center, which always has a lot of events and they have the events listed out for a couple of years in advance too, sometimes. Um, so you can see those, um, but you know, you gotta know your niche. So uh, is there a specific um, niche that you're looking to speak? Four, four. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wanting to go in that direction, which I've just recently made the decision, which was to um, to work with the single women who sort of cut off uh, relationships, who feel like there's like a wall between them. I'm working oh. with the cool thing that I'd like to introduce. So women, um, are they going to be entrepreneurs or does it matter? Uh, it doesn't matter, but professionals, peop women who have probably invested more in their career type thing than they okay. have in their relationships. So then you want to look for the women, I would say look for the women's business organizations here and also the women's expo. Um, now, if I, if I, sometimes I do this kind of a strategy and, and laser coaching with people all over the country and then we get on Google and we start searching and then we find the different websites that make sense for them. <clears throat> I happen to know in this area where that you could go, which is obviously eWomen Network. You do need to be a member to speak. Um, but you can go to eWomen Network and Nowbo. Nowbo is a great place. N a w b o dot uh, nowbo dash sac dot org is the local organization. And then there's a lot of local small small um, women's groups like Placer Women's Network. There's ABWA. There's NAPW. I just spoke for them last month. NAPW. NAPW? What's that? National Association of Professional Women. It's a smaller group, but there's still access there. And then um, you might, uh, I just thought of another one and I can't remember. Well, yeah, there's a lot of chambers. Go to all the meetups. I mean, Julie Anderson runs a meetup for, it's either Connections Over Coffee or um, there's a ton of meetups. Erin um, some runs a meetup for confident women. Uh, you'll find a lot on meetup. Uh, Rhonda runs a meetup. I don't and has pod. You know, you look at podcasts. I mean, you should be looking at podcasts though too. Anybody can go get booked at um, BlogTalkRadio.com, and there's thousands of shows on there. Just go searching by genre or a type of topic or something. If you go to BlogTalkRadio.com, and that's just one site. There's like a dozen different sites with podcast listings, podcast directories, online radio shows. Um, and almost everybody, well, not almost everybody, but you can see if they bring on guests, so you just message them and say, Hey, I'm looking to be a guest on your show. Let me know what the format is, right? Or if you're accepting guests, any other thoughts on getting booked? Thank you. Awesome. <clears throat> Katrina. Yeah. Rhonda. I, have a, I have a question. I've been, cause you were talking about how you've been able to build your back end for support so that you can work smarter and get out there and bring a higher income of um, the flow of income. And so um, I've been working on that, trying to get uh, better support and investing in people that I know are really doing good work. So I have a really good virtual assistant and she's been doing wonders for me and me being able to set my mind onto the sales area. Mm -hmm. what's the what's the things that somebody should be looking for especially at the stage I'm at where I I want to I'm at that space where I'm ready to grow and I want to make sure that my mind is more free so I can do the stuff I need to do for sales is there a, another person that I should be looking for that would help me in an area since I'm a speaker I have the podcast for your team um, you mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what does the person do right now for your team specific tasks? Really, quick. she does, she does um, logos for me. Um, she'll go into Aweber and build stuff. She'll go into lead pages and build stuff. Um, and okay. and some and some writing on my website. Some writing. Okay. Yeah, so updating copyright stuff. Okay. So if she can do a lot of the graphics online and she can do writing, that's great because usually those are two different people. Um, so I would make sure you're repurposing all your content. Mm -hmm. for one. So 
the goal is to be seen everywhere, right? So you want to be everywhere and be, uh, whether it's on an article on LinkedIn or it's a Facebook event or posts or have a group over there, or if you're on Pinterest and have a great board, or if you're on Twitter um, and even meet up, right? Where do you need to be seen and how can you get your content in many different places? So one mm -hmm. of my VAs, uh, if I, so most of my content is produced on video, so I will just press record and do a video tip, right? And then I'll upload it to YouTube. And mm -hmm. then from YouTube, she'll take the video and she'll put it into a blog post, but she will pull some wording out of it and put that on the blog post. So she'll have video and some words on the blog post. Um, and then she'll take snippets from that into social media posts that will link back to the blog post where the video is, right? And the video usually has a call to action for something on my website or a free gift or something. So she takes the video, all I do is the video, period. And then she does everything else. She does all that other um, pulling of content. So when you have a body of content, like an article, then um, you want somebody to be able to pull snippets of Key, key phrases and questions and bullet points leading back to that article and then putting that on social media either in posts and or social memes right images so they can um, and then if you write and you don't record video that's another way to do it another something to do is record a video on it now it doesn't necessarily even have to be you doing the video you could actually have her do a an animation video from your article, your printed article. So she could take some of the content from an article, put it with um, some kind of voiceover or just music with words and make little fun videos. So there's so many different ways to repurpose content. That's something that I think is huge because that'll start getting you seen by a lot of different speaker bookers and um, telesummit people. I'm on a bunch of telesummits every year, um, which is a virtual, you know, multiple speaker thing. Um, and when you have content everywhere, that's, that's a lot of how you get, right? Wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So in addition to that, what I mean, we could go on and on and on about what else to delegate to a team, but, um, let, let's, ha let's save that discussion for the end of the call if we can. And I'm happy to keep going on that. Is there any other questions on the six steps to jumpstarting yourself as a speaker? No. Okay. So then I want to uh, quickly talk about uh, what's in store for 2018 for the group. So, um, and so my plan is to have the same agenda as we've had in the evening sessions um, this year and last year. And that means that um, it's still going to be a two hour session, a two hour meeting. So we're looking at a lunch though, instead of a dinner. And, and I've had some people who love that and some people that don't like that. And I don't think I'm going to ever make everybody happy, unfortunately. Um, but honestly, if I'm going to run the group and spend my energy and time, I want to do it during the day <laughs> for me. Um, <laughs> and that's mostly because um, I want to have my evenings free for family. My, you know, I, I travel a lot and I want to make sure that I'm home for family. And so I'm doing it for lunch. Uh, so I'm changing it to lunch. We're going to see how it goes. I might be open to switching back if we get really a low turnout, but I really want to try to give it a good year. And, and um, so I've booked one place for lunch so far for the first three months, and then I might switch it. Um, I, I do like the idea of moving the, the venue around the area because we can attract some different people and not everybody can make it on one side of the, you know, over to 50, not everybody can make it to 80 side. So um, I've done it in Rancho Cordova for, for a while now. And so I'm moving it to Roseville, right near Citrus Sites to the um, old spaghetti factory there on Sunrise, which is um, right off the freeway uh, at Douglas. And so it should be pretty easy to get to. I get that if you're on the 50 side, it's going to be harder to get to. Um, but 
we have a really good group here and that people that do come live share a ton of resources and it's great networking and we do a lot of masterminding and you get a lot of resources like we were just saying with Laura you know you might come and ask a question how do I get booked where do I go and someone might say the perfect thing or oh I have the perfect person I'll introduce you and what if you speak at this place and then you get a client for seven thousand dollars I mean is it worth coming to a lunch across town yeah it is right so I mean you got to think big picture when you're looking at this kind of stuff um, and choosing which networking events to go to and which not to this is why it's important to know what you're selling because if you can get a client from one speaking gig or one client could could I mean if you have a ten thousand dollar program which if you don't you should okay if you have a ten thousand dollar program hello I'd be at every freaking luncheon ever to try to you know I mean it pays for that and your time and then some right and so I just think people are not thinking about it in that terms because I I know that three people from this meetup have come to one of my events Actually, it's probably more than that now. I don't even know. I'd have to, I don't have it off the top of my head, but I know three before, before this last November event. Now I have probably more than that, but three people joined my mastermind, which is anywhere from 15 to $20,000. So, I mean, there's, there's no way this is not going to pay off for you. If you have the right business models, the right marketing and follow up, um, and you're really determined to make it work for you. So I would encourage you all to show up and, and network and really, be vulnerable with what you need, be resourceful and share your resources with people and network um, and not just come to like, oh, I want to make a sale or something because we're not here to make a sale. Oh, hi, sweetie. I got a kid up there. <laughs> That's cute. Um, so we're going to have the same agenda. We're going to have, um, we do need speakers, right? So we're going to be having uh, speakers during the luncheons, but we're also going to have speakers on the webinar. Um, the price is going to be a little higher because we got to have lunch. <laughs> and if I'm going to do a restaurant like this, then they require people to eat. And you can't just come and show up for free. So just like I had to pay for the hotel room where I was staying, um, if I didn't get 20, I want to say it was 20 people. Um, if I didn't have 20 paid people at that hotel that I was at, then I was in the negative, just so you guys know, right? So I, I don't really want to operate this in the negative. And uh, so it's not like it's a money maker for me. I just really want to cover the cost of the luncheon and make it. Um, but that also means that you need to prepay and pre RSVP. So if you're going to come and walk in late and not pre-order, pre-pay, you're going to pay a lot more this time because I have to give head counts and I have to, you know, um, order food and all that kind of thing. So um, I just need you guys to be really um, diligent with the RSVP system for moving forward with the luncheons and um, pay attention please to the details because I will make it very easy for you. I'm going to make a page on my website where you just go there and you pick your menu item, what you want, and you go and pay and then you'll get a receipt and it'll all be paid and I'll know you're coming and we'll know exactly what you want to eat before you even get there. And you know, I have to kind of pick the menu and I'm keeping in mind that there's health conscious people there. Um, in the group and there might be some um, people that want uh, vegan and and or gluten-free so I'm um, I'm attempting to do some different um, menu items and maybe switch it up every month to see what are the most popular to then stick with on a regular basis or just switch them up every month so we don't have to eat the same thing which I always hate when I go to a meeting every month and that's the same thing every month and I'm I get tired of that so um, I'm going to try to do my best to, to do that for you, um, but I need you to really be diligent about prepaying and pre RSVPing, please. And um, the larger we can get the group, obviously, the, we get a nice big room to ourselves and it's going to be great. And so I'm excited about that. Um, is there any comments about the, the meeting itself for moving forward? I'm going to unmute you guys just in case. Anybody? Katrina, this is Chuck. Do you have a time that we're meeting for lunch? It's like 12 yeah. to 1, 12 to 2, 11.30 to 1.30, somewhere yeah. in there? That, no, 11.30 to 1.30, yeah. <laughs> 11.30 to 1.30. <laughs> and um, 
I definitely might. I know so Rhonda said, do Alcra, woo -hoo. Um, I think I'm going to do the first three months, like I said, in the Roseville, and then I might switch it to either downtown or another rancho. I might just go back from Roseville to rancho, like 80 to 50, 80 to 50, because, I mean, I can't. I, can't, I don't have time to go researching restaurants all over the town. Unless one of you guys wants to step up and do that for me, I don't have the time to do that. So I'm gonna go where it's easy and where they make it easy for me um, to book a luncheon. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, it's still gonna be on the Tuesday of the first, the first Tuesday of the month. We're still gonna stick with that. Sorry, no, it's the first Wednesday of the month. So it's oh, going to be the first Wednesday. Wednesday of the month. And if you go to the meetup page now, which I will pull up, um, they are all on there. The dates are all on there. The speakers are not yet because um, I haven't booked everybody yet. I have a few people waiting to be booked that have already sent me their information. There's like three people that are waiting to be booked. Um, I know Aaron was going to uh, possibly speak in January, so we're just working out the details. But uh, so Wednesday, January 3rd, February 7th, Wednesday, March 7th, none of these have been uh, published yet or announced, but they're all in the meetup. And... Um, and then I will, after March, I will look and see maybe, the, right now they all say the old spaghetti factory in Roseville, but if I change it, I will give you plenty of notice. You know I send you emails and send you information. <laughs> you need to read the emails though, right? So if you go, I'm just showing you my emails. So, um, you know, I will send you emails and they say Toastmasters 82 in them, in the subject. So I'm just gonna pull one up, all right? But they say Toastmasters 82 in the subject line. Don't ask me why. It's whoever set this meetup from the beginning is what they called this thing. And so I can't change that. <laughs> so it's going to say that in the subject. And then it's usually some very descriptive title um, that you should know. And then I'm, I'm talking in here. Um, there's my signatures on the bottom and my contact information. And you can see the links and and this happens to be the one i sent out on december 3rd with reasons why some members are are and stay involved in the sex speaker and entrepreneur network so you might want to read that one <laughs> you might want to read that one because there was a lot of people that responded to the the message that i asked um why are you in this meetup group i said <laughs> like why i'm why are you in this meetup group if you don't want to be get out <laughs> because I don't, it doesn't need to be a big number for me. I only want really active people. And if you can't be active all year long, of course, then stay in and just be active when you can. But there's people that are just avoiding and ignoring. And then there's people that message me and say, take me off your list. And I'm like, I can't take you off the list. This is a meetup email. So I can't take you off this list. You have to unsubscribe yourself with the links in the bottom of the email that you get. So just an FYI. Any questions on the email or so first Wednesdays usually now there might be some odd dates in here just if I'm traveling or something like that, but there aren't that many that are off. I don't think. Let me just see. No, I don't know how to tell you that right now. Any other questions about the meetup itself? I will get you more information. Obviously, I'm going to be, after today, I'm going to be booking speakers and launching the events um, and putting more detail into those, but at least you have the time, date, location. Um, and then I'm going to put the links to pay. So I'm, it's probably going to be 20 to $25, just to let you guys know, for the lunch. And that'll cover everything from, uh, if it's a salad you're ordering, then you'll get soup and bread if it's uh, pasta or something else you're ordering then you'll get salad um, as a, an, a precursor or whatever and then <laughs> um, and it comes with water or um, iced tea anything else you would pay extra for but um, so I'm trying to make it all inclusive because when the bill comes I have to write the check so I want to make it as easy as possible for you to register ahead of time so that I don't have to have a bunch of volunteers at the front door taking money. So please help me out there. If I have to start doing that, then I'm going to need volunteers because I can't do it all, right? So I'm trying to 
do the system up front so that you can click and pay online and just show up and sit and network, right? And so we don't have to have a lot of admin. I don't really want a lot of admin if possible, but I will bring it or I'll ask for volunteers if I need it, okay? Um, but I'd prefer it if you guys just paid attention to the emails and clicked and signed up and paid ahead of time. So it would be really easy. I can do this. I do this for my events I go to. I am very good about prepaying. So I'm just asking you to do the same and plan ahead for which events you want to attend if you can. Any thoughts on that? Okay. Now that I'm off my sandbox, let me just read the notes. I will do the research. Okay, Rhonda, you go for it. Tell me. Um, good. <laughs> okay. All right, good. All right, so I want to do uh, a five minutes in the spotlight. And so I know who's on the line. Let me, and this means that if, if there's something going on or you want help with, then we want to give you five minutes to, well, a cup, you want to, like in a minute or less, you want to share your challenge or your question, and then let the rest of us just give you feedback for the next four minutes. So um, let me see. I'm gonna close my eyes. Close Can I ask a question, Katrina? Yes. You said you said at the beginning that you were also wanting to do some webinars. One one webinar during the month. Did you talk about that yet? I didn't talk about that, and I don't have necessarily a date for that. But I'm thinking um, again. I don't want it to run past five o'clock on my world in my world. So, and I think most of us are entrepreneurs. So I'm gonna probably do them. Um, I mean, I can do them all over the board and I'm happy to take feedback, but I'm thinking four o'clock, um, but I can do a noon. If you guys want me to switch it up every month, like one month do noon, one month do four and switch it up, I'm happy to, to look at that. Um, so the webinar would only be an hour. I don't want to do this two hour thing on a regular basis, but just an hour, maybe even less. And ideally just one speaker on that for maybe 15 minutes. So it could be a 30-minute webinar. It could be, you know, fifth, you know, an introduction. Everybody introduces themselves, and then a 15-minute speaker or presentation with some kind of a free offer at the end or something, and then um, maybe 10 minutes of Q&A or, you know. So I'm open. So I I, I envision that maybe 45 minutes, um, and. Uh, I was thinking probably on a Monday or a Friday because there's a lot of other networking events on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and I don't want it to run into all that kind of stuff. So um, if there's any, so noon, noon, I see a couple noons. So feel free to post in the, in the chat room if you have some thoughts on uh, time for the webinar. And when you sign up to speak, so just to give you a heads up, I, Whitney, I picked your name. So if you do want a five minute in the spotlight, um, get ready for that or start thinking about what you might want to ask. Since you're newer in business too, you might want to, you know, inquire about uh, how to do something or how to start something. So you get the five minutes in the spotlight in just a second. Um, but let me... Uh, well, I lost my train of thought. What was I going to share with you? Doo -doo -doo. I was just going to share something, something really important. Really, really. Oh, how to sign up to speak, to be a speaker. Okay, so let me share my screen again. So if you go to sacspeaker.com, sacspeaker.com, you'll come to this page. Okay, this page is on my website. You can see Katrina Sawa, but it's a page just for the Sac Speaker Network. So sacspeaker.com gets you here, and there's a new sign-up process here. If you've spoken in the last year, you're going to be put on the wait <laughs> list. I want to get new speakers in, but I will let somebody speak at least once a year if I don't have a plethora of other people, okay? So like Rhonda got to speak twice already, like this year and last year, so because she paid attention and she signed up, and not everybody else signed up. So you can read through this, all right? And um, there is a free speaker training audio. If you're not sure what you're speaking on, then you wanna listen to this first, and you can go sign up for this speaker training audio. It's a really great audio that talks you through how to design your talk and stuff like that, or what we're, look, what we're looking for. So if you sign up here, then you get taken to, um, hold on one second. You, you get taken to this page 
which then says, great, so now I need, to, so that's the initial um, page where I just get your contact information um, so that I can follow up with you and encourage you to fill this sheet out because this is the stuff that stumps people, <laughs> which is um, what's your topic and your description and your bio, and then you can see the different months you're available to speak and check which months you want to speak here and if you have any questions. So. It's just another little form, and then you'll get taken to, um, da, 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 da. then you'll get taken to a page where you get, uh, so I've already had your information, and you're gonna have to email me your um, headshot and stuff. But, uh, so that's what it looks like, and so the pages where you're gonna pay uh, for your luncheon will look similar to this, just so you know, so you know you're in the right spot. Um, and while I'm over here, I wanna just make sure you guys know we have a Sacramento entrepreneur, uh, a Sacramento speaker and entrepreneur um, group now on Facebook. So we have the page, but we also have a group. So if you're not in this, Right now we have 57 men men members. If you're not in the group here, then you wanna come and find this group. And I'll put this, um, dun, 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 dun. I'll put the link in the chat room for you. But I've put it in multiple emails now, so you have no, <laughs> no excuse of not being in here already. Um, but come in here, there's, um, there's all kinds of things in here that you might be able to use. You can also share your own information, okay? You can share what you're doing. I post pictures in here. I have reminders of our meetings and stuff like that. And uh, not too many people are, are really networking in here yet, but, um, but this is a great place to go because my other groups are pretty hopping. So my other group is my Jumpstart Your Marketing group, so you can come here, and there's a lot of interaction here where you can share what you're doing. There's Laura and a couple other people. This is people from all over the country, too, and uh, all over the world, really. Um, and so those are two places you can join, and I'm going to put the links uh, in the uh, meetup or in the chat room. All right. Okay, so um, Whitney, are you ready for a five minute in the spotlight? I can't unmute you, so you'll have to unmute yourself. And then Dolores, I see you. Um, I can have you introduce yourself in a little bit. And then I also see someone in the 303 area code. Did you not introduce yourself or tell us who you are? Who's the person on the phone in the 303 area code? Sorry, it's me. I was trying to unmute myself. Can you hear me? Who's me? Me is Kim Guile. Oh. And I'm in, I'm in Sacramento, but originally from Colorado, which is why I have okay. 303. <laughs> okay, great. Well, good. Make sure you comment. Uh, if you're not in the chat room, uh, what's your website, Kim? Um, it is my website. It's yes. coachingheights.com. Coaching, H-E-I-G-H-T-S? Yep. And it's Kim G I L E S. No, G E I L, like the J Giles band, but singular. G E I L. Kim Guile. Okay, I'll just put you in here too. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And Dolores, you're on video, so if you can put your stuff in the chat room, that'd be great, so people can see your links or your Facebook group or whatever. And then Whitney, we want to give you five minutes in the spotlight. So. Um, do you have a challenge or a question or something you want help with that we can all help you with and we'll do a little mini mastermind for you? Sure. Um, so I have been writing an article um, for the Association of Corporate Counsel and their docket magazine for the last five years. There are 50 published articles um, on leadership, mostly centered around self-awareness, um, team building and I'm interested in taking figuring out how to transition those into topics for speaking so the best way to go about doing that your articles into speaking topics is that what you're saying yeah, yeah. okay yeah. 
Well, I would go, and anybody can chime in if you guys want to unmute yourselves, um, but I would make sure you know what you're selling first, right? So you don't just want to go out and do a talk, and then what? I mean, is your goal to build a business? Right. Or is right. it, so figure out what you want to do as a business, and then okay. reverse engineer that into your signature talk. Don't just take content you have and randomly talk about it unless it sells, unless it rolls right into something you can help people with. For money, right? Okay. Okay. Is, is that, my that make that makes sense? Unless okay. you're going after a corporate audience or something, or a paid speaking gig where you want to take that content and you know they want it, and you can put it into a paid speaking opportunity, that would be my thing. Is there anybody else that wants to comment, Gary or Chuck or Jen or? Well, yeah, I have a question. Um, yeah. Whitney, do you have a book? Do you have a book with those fifty articles? It is. Could you, could you not, write a book? It well, I've thought about that. The issue is well, it's, it's a technical issue. I don't think it's a long-term issue. Um, the magazine actually owns the content. Yeah. Um, so, mm. but they have said that they would give me. Perm I have to simply ask for it. Yeah. Um, but I have to do it for each individual article. So you know, and it's been. Uh -huh five years so i've been looking at that taking them grouping them kind of um by uh you know some subject matter and then writing something um that ties the the content for each chapter together so i've been i've been mulling that you know um you know katrina and is it is it robert what's his name robert rich Rich, excuse me, Rich. They're doing that. That starts Thursday. That's the write the book from the content that you already have. Write a book from the content that you already have, and they're going to take us okay. step by step on everything, which sounds super exciting because I got a lot of like random content that I want to kind of put together with this, you know, clear message. So I was mm -hmm. thinking about you on that. Oh, okay. I'll look into that. I'll put it in the Facebook for you or in the chat. Okay. Room. Okay. Awesome. Thank uh, you. Any other comments? Gary? Chuck? Now, tell me, tell, have her ask a question again. Yeah. What is she looking for again? Whitney, we're having, what's, what are you asking for again? You want to repurpose your content, an art, article that you wrote. Um, well, I have, I have a series. There are 50 published articles 50 um, published articles yeah so to to how to i i think katrina's answer made sense to me um and that that's the piece that i'm working on right now so figuring that out first and then using the content to to address um what it is i'm trying to sell if i understood you correctly Mm -hmm. Whitney, it's Jennifer. <clears throat> are you hi, Jennifer. trying to, um, hi, are you wanting to get paid to speak for associations and corporations or are you using this as speak to sell for marketing for your business? See, I hadn't gotten that far and okay. hadn't thought about that. That was the whole point of joining this um, tonight. Is to, okay, um, that's okay. To think that, starting to think that through. And it's okay that you don't know that I, if you did, that would, I might have a different answer for you, but okay. I, I take my blogs and I repurpose them into speeches all of the time. Every speech I have came from a blog that I wrote. So what I might recommend to you is one of two paths or both is one, find a few people who you think might be your target audience and ask them what they're looking for. And then you okay. go back and you take your content and you put it into a program that fits their needs. The other approach might be to just master, or not mastermind it, but um, mind map it. Mind map out what an audience you think what they need in a 45 to 60 minute keynote, in a half a day workshop, or a full day or two day workshop. Mastermind what you think they might need and then go back and look at your content and pull in your content to create an outline. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that helpful? Yes. Yes. 
think I, depending on what I the tried topic, to write that down as fast as you wrote. I don't write this. Well, we're recording, so you can also oh. watch the recording too. Uh, <laughs> okay. And uh, it's it's um, depending on the topics. Uh, Laura could be right. I mean, you, there's so many different types of books that you can write, and maybe not all fifty of them. For example, like this is one of the books that I wrote a chapter in. So there's um, I can't remember if it's 20 authors or, oh, 42 authors wrote a chapter in this book. Um, this is just one of the compilation or anthologies that I was in. So you could literally, I've seen people take their articles and put them into a book format and then you'd have a book. And honestly, I mean, why we're doing the book program, the, it's the five steps to getting your book published in 30 days or less. And for the like the cheapest possible, what was still a good product because um, a book gets you speaking gigs. So it may, those articles may or may not be your book, but it could be. I mean, I have a one of my mentors has a motivational quotes book, right? It's a motivational quotes, and all it is is, is like it's seriously these are the pages. It's huge font. <laughs> huge font for this, and it's just a bunch of different quotes that. He paid someone, I think, to get off the internet and then put on here. And oh no, these are his own quotes, actually. But you could literally get other people's quotes and put them in here and have a book of quotes that you produced. So um, there's so many different options. Getting a book is one thing, but I would say you really need to build your business first, right? Okay. Your business okay. is more important. So what are you going to do for a business? first and then develop your speaking gigs around that. Um, but I did what Jennifer did too. When I first started speaking, I would uh, do, actually I would do a teleclass, not a webinar like this, but a, just on the phone in a teleclass, I'd pick a topic. Uh, I remember in 2005, I picked 12 topics, one for each year, one for each month, and one was on email marketing, one was on website design, one was on, you know, direct mail, one was on networking, one was on follow-up, all the different topics of marketing that I teach, and um, each one of those could, uh, some of them did become signature talks, some of them actually became products, so I gave so much in that one recording that it was a paid program, and it still is, so... There's lots of things you can do with it, your content. Any last thoughts okay. for Whitney on that? Um, so we're to the Thank point. You. Yeah, you're welcome. So I want to, we're just in the open discussion time. And so I, I'm happy to find, um, let's see. Oh, I love the, t I'm just reading some of the chat here. Let's see. Mostly, let's see, I'm doing the book program. Oh, Jennifer's doing the book program. Laura's doing the book program. Uh, I forget who else. Um, Ron, no, I don't know. Anyways, um, but Jennifer said for accountability and yeah, you move too fast and you can't sit still for that. Uh, and then Jennifer said, love the teleclass idea. Do you send them to get transcribed? Um, you can transcribe your teleclasses or these kind of recordings too. So, and then, um, and then use those as articles. So whatever you can do the easiest first. All right. Do we want to do another five minutes in the spotlight or does somebody have a question? I want to say hi to Dolores first. Um, hi. Hi Dolores. You missed out on hi. introductions. I'm not technically supposed to let you introduce yourself, but please. Oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go ahead, sweetie. What? Tell us what you do in a, just a few quick little moments, and then. I I have a uh, Javita Healthy Beverage uh, business, and I I have not been doing very much this this last part of the year because I've been very sick, hmm. and sick and busy busy and sick <laughs> so, oh, so um, I was glad to get your email and um, uh, I just thought I'd come and jump on and join I wanted to kind of get back involved well good well we are in I'm, case I'm not, I don't have a book I don't have a book yet and I don't I'm not planning events I you know did a big, big event in August and that was it well, you just got to do what you can do, and hopefully you'll feel better soon if you're not already. So, 
I'm sorry to hear Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I miss the group, though. I would like to stay involved. Good. Well, and that's one of the reasons why I thought I'd do webinars, too. So we, some of us can meet in person. I always like the in-person connection. Um, but this way we can, I think we can get, uh, it's going to be amazing, I think, with getting a lot more people involved. So I'm going to do one more five minute in the spotlight. But while, let's see, let me just pick someone really quick. Um, Michelle, are you still on the line? Michelle, um, we can come to you. Oh, I see you unmuted. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, I just unmuted. Okay, good. Yeah. So you saw what she did, throw out a challenge or a question or something you're working on. You might want some feedback on, and then let's yeah. give you some feedback. And while she's doing that, if you guys also want to, um, Post in the chat room if you're you know, on video, uh, whatever uh, upcoming events you have or any webinars or teleclasses or websites that you want to send people to for a free gift or anything that you want to promote, now is the time to put it into the chat room. Um, and if you're on the phone, um, after sh Michelle's done, you'll be able to unmute and share those kind of things with us, okay? So if you're on the phone, stick around and, and you can share those before we leave. Michelle, go ahead. Yeah, okay, and, and I'm not sure I have a very coherent question because That's I've, okay. heard so, I've heard so much. And so maybe the question is sort of like, oh my gosh, what do I do first? Part of, um, <laughs> you know, part, oh, I didn't realize my, I unvideoed. Oh, good. There we go. There I'm we moving go. around in my house, sorry guys. Yay. Um, yeah, so, so I've also written a children's book that, um, I want to do more around in addition to the uh, stress and resilience work. So I, I kind of feel like for me, like maybe the first step is just picking a topic. Like, is it the children's book that's been written now for a while and, and that I want to, you know, build content out of not only for children, but I've developed it into adult learning. It's a book about self-acceptance and self-love. Um, yeah, so I, th I think, uh, after listening to all this, I just sort of have a, a, a bit, I feel like I, like a brain dump on <laughs> is, is what's in order next. Well, that's okay. So Michelle, I think you're on target. Figure out what you're, what you want to build. You have a business already, right? Or you're trying to figure yeah. out what. Yeah, I have all that. I've always, I've had a business license for a while. I've always spoken sort of just on the side, like I've had side gigs, but I'm, I'm wanting to um, start doing more. And, you have a, you know, do you have a full-time job? Yes. And okay. so, you know, like potentially mm, not a fast moving out, but uh, like that's the potential is uh, moving out of that eventually. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and a lot of people have full-time jobs or they did when they started their business. And I have a ton of people that I work with that have full-time jobs and we're trying to figure out how to, so the key is to spend your time wisely um, with what you are doing. And uh, where'd she go? Oh, she dropped. Oh, there you are. I like I <laughs> moved you on my screen. Uh, uh, spend your time wisely for the time you do have. And mm -hmm. so it could getting really clear maybe on offering one or two things that you're going to offer either to sell and then has speak on maybe one, maybe two topics and then just keep it really simple until you can build up some momentum with those things is what I'd probably recommend. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing, oh, I'm going to do this program over here or that program over here. I'm going to do this over here and this over there because then you won't do any of it well with the very right. limited time that you have in addition to the full-time job is my first thought for you. Anybody else? Everybody's muted. So if you have thoughts, you want to unmute because I could talk for hours, but we're not just here to listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy to continue sharing if nobody's going to unmute and help Michelle. <laughs> Come on, you guys. I'm trying to find the unmute button. Oh. Okay, I found it. Sorry. I'm over in the chat room. I'm like got oh. three or four things going on. You know okay, me. Okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so I, when I first joined Katrina's Mastermind, I was working a full-time job. Mm. And 
I'll, I'll be honest with you, it was very difficult juggling both things. But what I wouldn't give for that income right now, because <laughs> I had a really high level, um, high paying corporate job. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, but I think for me, one of the things that was really important was creating a plan. What's that plan and what's that exit strategy look f like for you? How can you incorporate some of the things that you want to do to grow your business without um, putting your job at jeopardy? And how can you implement those things a little bit at a time so when you're ready to make the transition, you're fully ready? Because I didn't end up having, the second time I left my corporate job, the first time I had a choice and I planned it all out. The second time I didn't really have a choice and it was a little bit more of a shock at the same time had it not happened I wouldn't have put both feet you know on the pedal to the floor to get things going so there's a little bit to said about having a sense of urgency but if I were to you know give somebody else advice it would be create a plan even a written plan of what it's going to look like and what your extra strategy is going to be and how long is it going to take okay thank you yeah, I, I would back that up, um, you know, having gone corporate and then cold turkey to nothing. I was, uh, a contract ended, so it was sort of like I had to make some choices, just like uh, Jennifer was talking about. But what if I were to, like, be in your position and knew that I wanted to transition, one of the very first things I would do would be to really start to minimize all of my expenses. Mm -hmm. I mean, totally shred them down so that there's not this, thing hanging over your head that I have to make this much money right in the immediate start. So if you've learned to try to trim everything down a little bit, then your overhead becomes a little bit less and it becomes a little easier. So that, that's my tip. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? There's so much. I mean, we should, we could be here yeah. for an hour, right? So, um, but Jennifer, it is good to to lower your some of your, some of your expenses to a certain respect. You're probably this is the time to invest in your website, in coaching, so you know what you're doing because you have that discretionary income. Hopefully, you have a little bit extra. You can do it now, but you certainly won't have it when you quit your job, right? Mm -hmm. So now's the time to get ready um, and taking those steps, uh, but. Um, you know, feel free to contact me because I don't like to see people spending a lot of money in the wrong places. Like there's web designers that charge $5,000. Ah, you don't need that. Right. So, I mean, let's make sure you get the things you need, um, in order of importance and for the most affordable rate. Um, and so get some kind of web presence going, get some kind of something, a uh, funnel where you can funnel people in. Right. And I can, you know, where you can have people sign up for a free thing or start doing a teleclass once a month or a webinar to get some content out there and get followers. So um, start blogging so people can start following your blog. There's various things to do that you can start building awareness and visibility and exposure for yourself while building a following and collecting people on, or getting people on your list, so to speak. All right. So yeah um, and I would I would come to my event in April if you can because there's we go over a lot of that stuff so um, I'll share some links in a minute I've been so busy talking I don't I haven't had a chance to blah, blah, blah. I also have a, ma a master class so it's something like this but I don't do any kind of presentation it's just two hours of laser coaching people on the call and it could be four people it could be 14 people um, and it's um, on December 15th so it's in like a week and a half on a Friday between 9 and 11 a.m. if anybody wants to come to that it's only 79 bucks so it's on my event page on my website which I linked in here somewhere <laughs> and uh, so for 79 bucks you can come to that and get as much coaching as you can um, and pick my brain I was just trying to post it um, the book, the book thing, if you're interested in the book. So, uh, any other things you guys want to talk about? Uh, anything else? Any last, any thoughts on that, Michelle, or questions, follow up questions to any of that that we've said? Uh, no. Um, yeah, no, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, anything else? Some of you guys have been kind of quiet. Anything you want to share about, uh, 
speaking? Do you have any upcoming events? Do you have, I've seen you guys posting. So I know Rhonda has a book thing coming out. She has a flat belly pre-launch party and she has a book coming out. And it looks like um, Jennifer, I know Jennifer has an event, don't you? I didn't see the link in here. Uh, Aaron has a free gift, three steps to creating massive business success. Uh, Jennifer, yeah, you have a two day event in Sacramento on January 25th and 26th. Positively. Yeah, I was going to look for the link, but then I then we I, you said, hey, we need some feedback. So I <laughs> popped back over <laughs> and then All I didn't right, get guys. back to the link. <laughs> well, make sure you copy what you wrote and put it with the link. So it'll be easier. <laughs> um, let's see, Laura, you have a free session and Aaron's hosting a one day event. Be courageous in Reno. Good. We need some peeps up in Reno. Um, and then let's see. Oh, you've seen Aaron speak. Oh, good. And uh, Rhonda has a great podcast. You guys go listen to Rhonda's podcast. And do you have an event coming up anytime soon, Rhonda? I forget. You do stuff at your house. We were talking about retreats this last week, and her and I were at a retreat together. And uh, yeah. do you have something coming up like that? Yeah. So I have that pre launch party that gives you a lot of support. I put that in there. Um, second week in January, my focus in, is cleansing with food. So I, I definitely spend time as a food expert connecting how food is your medicine. And that's what the retreat is about. So we're going to be sitting down, having discussions, and also in my beautiful kitchen that we are almost done remodeling. So it's set up for retreats. It's a nice place to be and cozy. Awesome. And, uh, Gary, anything from you over in, uh, I think you're still on the phone. Anything you got Correct. going on? Well, the National Speakers Association has an event January 13th in uh, Lafayette, California. January 13th? Mm-hmm, it's a Saturday. I think that's on my calendar. Will... Okay. Are you doing carpool? I'm going. Who's going? Okay, Jen. I'm going if, yeah, if anybody wants to carpool, it's only like an hour from here, but that's a little yeah. bit further for you, Katrina. Yes, I want to carpool. I'll come to you. Okay. Yeah, so if you want to carpool, we could go together. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it's on my mm, list. Perfect. Maybe, um. Gary, uh, did you say the pricing on your retreat or your event? Who? For Gary. Gary, the NSA thing. Yeah, did I miss that? I don't know how much it is. I don't. Yeah, I don't have the website in front of me. Sixty-seven dollars is what comes to mind. However, go to, go to the website and check that. I, I may be totally wrong. It may be less. I have the link up here. In just a second, I will put it in the. I will put okay. it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Great, thank you. Something else right now. Okay, Gary, cool. Awesome. And then uh, who's the three, uh, uh, 303 area code? It's, it's Kim. Oh, Kim, yeah. What do you, tell us who you are. And we already, no, tell us, um, you told us your website. Do you have anything coming up or anything else you want to share about what you do? Um, well, I have a virtual group coaching program starting tomorrow night, actually on how to make the job you're in better. Awesome. The make the what better? The, the job, job that you are in. Okay. Very cool. And is there a website we can find that at? Yeah, it's all at coachingheights.com. Okay. Which, which we linked up above. Okay. So how to make the job you're in better at Coaching Heights. Yeah, so that's, that's paid, but then there's a free recording to a, a virtual workshop that I did. Um, last week okay and then do you have a oh so that's on the website too right yeah okay cool I'm trying to hurry in the frenzy get all these links going for everybody <laughs> I'm like dun, 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 dun. <laughs> all right who else is on the phone John do you have something Yeah, let me unmute myself. Yeah. So um, I guess I'm more of an informational speaker than a motivational speaker. 
Okay. And uh, I'm kind of curious about where people are getting their information now because I realized five years ago I was getting quite a bit from uh, daily newspapers, um, you know, the local paper, the LA Times, uh, Wall Street Journal. And, um, you know, now uh, I don't really look at any of those on a, on a daily basis. I, I, I'm picking, I guess, uh, stuff off of the Internet and following stories that I come across there. And I was just kind of curious about, uh, you know, other people, you know, uh, you know, where, where does your information about the world come from now? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> Cause who reads the newspaper? I don't know. My, my, I get my news from my husband who watches Facebook. <laughs> I know, but I think in all honesty, he finds things like uh, news media, posts on Facebook so I don't know and then it, but anybody else want to comment I don't know <laughs> well I guess it depends upon what what you're talking about would you be is there anything specific about what information are you talking political you're talking what are you talking uh, well I'm particularly interested right now kind of in international politics so like um, and trade yeah I'll give you an example. Uh, Indonesia is uh, the fourth most populous country in the world, and, and yet the amount of trade and uh, migration that we have with Indonesia is, is insignificant. And uh, you, so it's kind of curious you know, why we have so little interaction with them, and I don't see much in the news, um, except if, if, I, if I think about where, where does my news come from, from about certain of these countries. I guess it would be some journals uh, like The Economist that also post online and, you, and you'll pick up stories from that. Or perhaps, uh, the, you know, The Wall Street Journal, uh, because it's business, it has to look at all parts of the world and, and look at big countries. And then, uh, but anyway, I, to go back to my question, is, yeah, it would be more uh, things like, um, you know, where's your information on Brazil or Indonesia or Russia, uh, you know, will come from if it's not in the headline that week because of... I would, I, for me, it's PBS. PBS, um, yeah. television, or the radio. And I, and I am just, just it, what appeals to me is if, if there's some sort of a human humanitarian story behind it because I'm you know kind of that that interests me more than just financial or trade right. or anything like mm -hmm. that I need I'd need a human story to it to really right. how it. how the national event is affecting the individuals the mm -hmm. people yeah or, or climate or environment too yeah that it interests yeah. me too you know, it's interesting. I, think I pick up a lot of my information from the from the public radios and driving around between different things. Uh, I don't know that we know how to answer that question for you. That's you know, for beyond the for political. Well, for political, it's probably Twitter. Mm -hmm. Are you for? Twitter? Yeah, that might be the place for you. Are there other than journals, John? Are there? Any other sources that you can sign up? Like I'm signed up on, in my topic, like on Harvard Health, where you may be getting updates as opposed to, you know, because I get Scientific American Mind, but that's kind of like older news. But is there any source of information on international trade where you may get updates on things that are coming up and being published in your field? Yeah, I guess I'm getting, I get updates, um, from the Wall Street Journal and from The Economist, those are probably two of the sources that I, I find updating my, my news. And then I'll go to whatever link is tied into that. So I guess it's coming into my, uh, it's coming into my email because of, of groups that I'm in. And you're yeah, talking about how do you get your message out? Is I am that what not you mean? At the, no, actually, I was just yeah. kind of curious about where people are getting their information from, right? That was the focus of the question I was asking. Oh, okay. Well, I think it depends on who, what kind of information, like somebody said earlier, what kind of information, what kind of business are you in? Who's your target market? Because there's, 
hundreds of thousands of places to get information. So for me, I get business information almost exclusively from LinkedIn. But if I were in the international politics business, I would be looking towards Twitter for information. And then if there's specific information you're looking for, like for example, you mentioned Brazil, and maybe if there were keywords that were associated with that, you can set up Google Alerts. So Google Alert will send you uh, news articles on a daily basis for the specific keywords that you have asked them to send you alerts on. Yeah, that's a good point for sure. Yeah, and thank you. I, I, I do get news alerts from, from Twitter. I wonder, again, I, I'm just trying to, in a way, I'm kind of polling this group to see where they get their, their information from. And I think it actually reflects sort of what I'm doing in, yeah. in many ways. Very cool. All right. Well, if there is there anything else, Chuck, you have any last words? Rhonda, Jennifer, anybody want to wrap it up? Anybody? Okay. Well, thanks for being here. And Great job. Thank you. Hopefully, um, moving forward, we'll be able to. My goal is to have a succinct call where we can network once a month. Um, on a much shorter basis, right? So I wanna get in and out on that webinar and then have lunches to be able to hear a couple of speakers. So we have three speaker opportunities every month, a 10 minute, a 15 and a 20. So make sure you sign up at sackspeaker.com and so I can start booking you. I was waiting till this call to book people, but I wanna start booking the months out and um, let me know if, I think it's on the questionnaire if you want webinar in person or both, so. Katrina, I have a question. Uh -huh. um, before this started, I was thinking that you were going to do like the table thing that you do with um, doing the cards where you have like that table where you have like the free, free the freebie game. stuff. Yeah. Did, yeah. Are we doing that or is that? No. Um, My thing was, because uh, I don't know how to do that. No. <laughs> Unless somebody could come up with a great idea. I don't know how to pull names from a hat and have you <laughs> one particular freebie so I was just suggesting people put their free stuff on their web you know from their website so like for example I put my free gift page right so or if you if you want to go get the free speaker audio right so you could actually click on the link and go get it so you should have an opt-in page on your website I know you do but anybody who doesn't it's something to think about moving forward make sure you have an opt-in page for your website so someone could go in and get a free gift and it, in cases like this, it might be something different than the regular free gift on your website. So just a thought. Yay. <laughs> if, you can, if anybody can come up with an idea on how I can do that, please message me and tell me because I, I wasn't able to figure it out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's why I'm going to copy the chat room. I'm going to put it in a follow-up email and actually all 2,600 members will see it. So um, that's the benefit of being here live, basically. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Oh, oh my God, maybe I'd better put a limit on my uh, free ah. on my free sessions. <laughs> we'll we'll say five, three. Don't, like that. don't worry. Uh, <laughs> if you just say I didn't realize, and you can stop it. But yeah, yeah you know, one time I gave away three hundred. Or was it three hundred or hundred? A hundred free thirty-minute massages. My girlfriend gave me certificates to put in uh, some holiday cards. Mm -hmm. She got three back, you guys. Yeah, so. I, that's that's yeah. awesome the way it goes. Yeah, <laughs> that's why it's good to have a virtual gift, like a report or an audio or a webinar okay. or something free. So in the future, you know, look at some of my back-end web pages. If you go to the free training page on my website, you'll mm -hmm. see a like 12 different free gifts and you can model after any of those pages to put your free gift on. And if you need help with the techie stuff, let me know. I have a team. So, but that's how I get some, get some virtual free gifts going you guys. So that when okay. you do these webinars or you're on anything else that's like this, you know what you can send people to see. So to try you out. So great to, to be here with you, Katrina. I always learn so much and just thank you so much for everything that you do. And I'm, I'm going to see you Thursday. Yay. I'm really kind of excited and Thursday I want morning. to wish everybody happy holidays. Happy holidays, you guys. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.